Good day, viewers. Well, I decided to replace the speakers in the uh, our uh, Massey Ferguson cab tractor from the farm, which we use at the dad's cousin's place. So, I had a set of these cool speakers in storage, which I wasn't using. So these are speakers I've had in the store, which I don't think I've done videos on them. But um, yeah, I've just used them for the odd uh, inside, this and the uh, bass songs inside in the car stereo system. And they were sitting in my collection, that's what they look like. They're pretty nice speakers, early 80s vintage. And I got those speakers from the uh, Daihatsu handy van I had. So they got little, they're a little bit slightly um, tarnished by the weather, but they weren't buggered. They just cleaned them up, polished them up. And these, my ones, replace these ones. They're nice speakers, those Pioneer speakers. I actually got some good reviews on them online. So um, there's nothing electronically wrong with these. They sound pretty good. They're a nice quality speaker, but foam rot. That's why I replaced them with the Pioneer ones. Plastic cone and everything. Look at this. Bloody foam rot. So, yeah, I wasn't using the other speakers, and these needed to be replaced, so I put the Pioneers in, and they actually sound quite good in that tractor. They actually sounded better than these in that tractor, and that um, Holden Rodeo head unit well, we put in there ages ago. So, I can actually uh, get a refoam kit for these online. Pretty cheap, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to refoam these. Yeah. Just gonna be careful not to damage your voice coil. I'm not a bad speaker. <sighs> Quite like them. So I'm gonna uh, re frame these and um, use them as bookshelf speakers. These are the original grills. Cheap and nasty, they just popped out quite easily. You see these used in buses and all that. Buses use them in the roofs. So they're pretty generic all around the uh, car interior, car audio speaker grill. Nice and flat and fancy. I can't find much information on these online, so it looks like Grundig never really uh, specialised at high end car audio, but the Pioneer ones that it replaces these are kick ass, much better than these. But these would be good, more than good enough for bookshelf speakers. I might even make up a new uh, thing for those other speakers and put those LG TV speakers, I might even use those for another project anyway, and put these in those speaker boxes. So I'll make a new uh, thing to fit these in, once I have a up. and now we'll go on those other speaker enclosures I've got with the uh, LG TV speakers in them. For some good bass, these are make, I reckon these are make pretty good bloody uh, bookshelf speakers for PC gaming and whatnot. Nice fancy anti plastic cone and everything, so. I'll start cleaning all this foam off. Oh, this is replaceable too. This will come with a new uh, leaf foam kit. If it doesn't, I'll just put these back on. But since the leaf foam uh, kit that will fit these speakers is cheap enough, why not, eh? Anyway, I might do a bass test, give you a demonstration. Don't want to push them too hard though, because the voice calls might scratch and damage. Just don't touch them, because they, yeah, that's what happens. They go sideways. So on their own they'll be alright, but if the, the cone wobbles and rocks, they can damage your voice call. So just be careful doing that. So just give a little quick demonstration. Nurse them, and I'll uh, yeah, put these away. They can be re repaired. Alright, I'll turn this thing down just in case, just to nurse a little bit. Bass, I love you too. Relatively uh, free song. What's going on there? It looks like I've got a bug. Ah, just topped it. Okay. Yeah, see? as much as I can do. Don't want to damage them. They're only rattling because the voice calls are slightly rocking side to side with no suspension. Yeah, that's why it's important that the uh, 
surrounds are in good condition because a vice coil can rock side to side and hit the surround like the magnet in the center part of the frame of the basket assembly so that can uh, wear out the windings and the voice coil and short it out so that's about as much as I'm going to put through that good bass, good sound so they're worth repairing once I place this around there'll be no rattles or scratches in this so yeah for the price it's going to be to fix them it's worth it there's a be good bookshelf speakers when they're done K601's a model ESS 4003, 30 watts max. So I just find an equivalent brand, as long as the size is right, it doesn't matter what brand to speak of the, uh, the, the, the kits for. It's just got to get the size. There's a, yeah, there's a four inch speakers, so there's plenty of those I've seen on eBay, four inch roof and uh, speaker kits. I've also um, looked for a recomb kit for my uh, um, radio, uh, Dobby radio phone, radio, uh, console radio, and I can get a um, because it's an 11 inch speaker, I've got to get a 12 inch refoam, uh, recone kit. But I'll have to take the voice coil out, cut the cone, and twist it a little bit and rejoin it to, down to 11 inch from 12 inch to fit that speaker. Then get a surround, an 11 inch surround somehow. So it's a bit of an odd size that speaker, but it's, yeah, I could recone it. Just gonna, uh, the cone is not so hard, take the voice coil out and keep the centerpiece to where the voice coil around the voice coil and the connectors, all that part there is in good condition. The first uh, three inches of the actual cone itself, I can glue on top of that with some speaker cement. I just cut down a 12 inch and overlap it down to 11 inch and rejoin the um, cone with the um, speaker cement. That'll, be, that'll work. But finding a surround, it fits 11 inch. Cutting a surround down to uh, the right size might be a little bit of a challenge because they're made, they mightn't like being uh, manipulated too much, so to speak. They're made for that one size. If I start cutting it and twist it and shrink it to 11 inches, I might uh, buckle and distort the whole surround and the speaker be out of alignment. So that's the challenge. Anyway, a lot of the uh, v, cone, uh, v foam kit for these. Be a good little fun project. Anyway, thanks for watching.